question. I, I'd love to start with you, Lauren. Um, we've seen that that lifestyle related diseases or comorbidities are make people more vulnerable to COVID-19. Um, and I know that you've done a lot of work in uh, kind of integrating healthy food into our healthcare system. Can you explain a little bit about the program that you've worked on and, and what needs to happen moving forward kind of on a more national level? Absolutely. Um, so, you know, in D.C. where we work, um, there's a 17 year life expectancy difference um, between the community of Ward 8, which is um, east of the Anacostia River and is a, a community that has multi-generational poverty, 100% um, African-American. And uh, the differences between that community and uh, Upper Northwest, which is a wealthier community. So a 17 year life expectancy difference. And uh, four of the five top leading causes of death are diet related chronic illnesses. Um, so what we've been doing is, and when I say diet related chronic illnesses, that's diabetes and things like hypertension, things that we now know to be comor comorbidities for increased mortality um, due to COVID. So in DC, um, DC Greens is running a produce prescription program together um, with DC Health Department, with DC Healthcare Finance, with um, some of the Medicaid payers, and with health clinics, where um, basically patients who have uh, diagnoses of diabetes, prediabetes or hypertension, are able to get a prescription that um, gets called into the pharmacy at Giant. That prescription is for uh, fruits and vegetables. It's basically $20 a week for fruits and vegetables. Um, and, you know, what we found over the years is, you know, this is food that folks really desperately need. It's really indicated by their doctors. Um, and they're able to get the fruits and vegetables because we are embedding it into our healthcare delivery system. And, you know, we really believe that, um, Food is medicine, and access to healthy food needs to be integrated into our healthcare system on a broad scale. So, this program is really looking for um, places where we can find a return on investment uh, that show that access to healthy food actually is a cost saver for the healthcare system. Um, you know, impacting things not just individual health metrics, but um, patient utilization of the healthcare system. And you know, what we found during the COVID crisis is health systems across the country were starting to finally see that connection between access to healthy food and public health and the health of their patients. And we had uh, folks reaching out to us from across the country really wanting to figure out how can we um, actually embed healthy food access into our healthcare systems. And the truth is, these are not programs that you can set up in an emergency. But what I'm hopeful for is that we as a society are taking this emergency moment and making real systemic changes um, to our policies, to our, uh, our workflows, and to our understanding of the role of healthy food as something that really needs to be systemically embedded into the healthcare system. Um, and not as a charity kind of effort, but actually as core to what it means to deliver healthcare. 